Hey everyone. Real quick this week, I wanted to share a concept that actually uh, came through in a meeting with our fire brigade recently. So um, we were fortunate enough to participate in some training a couple of weeks back uh, where our team supported the training of, uh, think of it like air traffic controllers, but for fire, like large scale fire um, events. And so we got a visit from um, one of the operations leads at Fire and Emergency, and Mac had come up and spent some time with us, and it was it was super awesome just to share stories with somebody who's been and seen a whole bunch of different things. And we talked a lot about safety. We talked a lot about safe environment. Uh, we talked a lot about team building, all of the stuff that those of us in the business of change and improvement also love, right? So safe environments, safe to speak up. How do you build that communication and trust within your team? Um, we do a lot of talking about dynamic risk assessment on the fire ground. Um, lots of really familiar concepts uh, for those of us that are also in the corporate business worlds. And so um, one of the things I wanted to share was this concept that Mac uh, talked with us about around margin. So margin is this idea of creating a little bit of space and a little bit of buffer zone in whatever it is that you're doing. So in the context of a fire ground, uh, often the weather or the topography, you know, the nature of the landscape, these factors aren't, you, you can't rely on these factors to build in that safety margin that you're looking for when you are working out a plan of attack with a fire. Uh, don't get me wrong, the wind might change for better, um, that rain might come through, you know, all of these things that, that could go your way, but you can't necessarily rely on them because equally, it could go the other way. The wind could change in the wrong direction. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, you don't get the, the cloud or the, the temperature cool off that you're expecting and all of a sudden the fire flares up in a way that, um, that, that maybe you hadn't planned for that morning. And so we talked about this concept of where we, where we can build a margin in those places that we have control over a situation. As an example, if you're filling a helicopter full of water with a 1200 litre belly tank, maybe you don't fill it all the way to the top. Maybe you only fill it with a thousand liters and that extra 200, that's your margin. That's your margin for when the chopper gets around the other side of the hill, hits a wind current that's not expecting, fully laden, you've, you've got that extra power when you need it. So we talked a lot about what are the different ways that we can build in margin, whether it be in our own mindset, in our own uh, training and the way that we set ourselves up as individuals, whether it be with some of those real nuts and bolts tools, don't fill the belly tank quite so full, uh, and also situational awareness, things like weather and topography, you know, some of those external factors that may go our way or not, and we need to be willing to pivot and to react when we need to. And so I wanted to share this concept of margin because it struck me how important that is within our business environments, particularly today particularly given everything that's going on in the world. When was the last time that you considered the margin that your team and those individuals within your team have in the office, in their personal lives? Where is that margin, is that safety buffer, is it expanding, is it increasing? Have we got more buffer and more safety space to have options, um, be a little bit loose in our planning, you know, make a few more decisions, or are those factors constricting and our margins are shrinking, in which case we're feeling boxed in, we're feeling tightened up, and we maybe don't have that same capacity for creative decision making because we've got less and less and less room to move. Now the example that, uh, that Mac used was um, NASCAR actually. NASCAR as, a, as an example of a really exciting situation that's great to watch because there's very little room for error. That's what makes it exciting. However, in our work, we probably don't want to be working with such a tight margin. We want to be able to grow that margin. We want to be able to build in those buffer zones so that we've got more room to move. We have more options available to us. And so my challenge to you this week is this. How, A, when was the last time you thought about margin in your team as individuals, as human beings, as well as the team in your office? Because there's a lot going on in our personal lives at the moment, which is having an effect on how we show up in our work lives. So when was the last time you, you considered margin? And secondly, 
what can you do to grow that margin? Because it's less about definitively where that line sits and more about is our margin shrinking or is it growing? And so that's my second challenge to you this week is think of some of those ways that you can start to grow that margin, grow that safety margin within your team, whether that be safety to speak up, safety to be visible and to voice what's going on in your work environment, um, or whether that be margin in terms of a little extra wiggle room to experiment, maybe to test and learn, maybe some safe to fail type stuff that allows us to be a little bit more creative um, in what it is that we're doing and just build out a few, just a little bit more room for some options and some choices and some decision making. So that's it from me this week. A real quick, quick intro to some firefighting insight. Um, as you know, I'm always looking for uh, all sorts of things that we can pull from different parts of our lives and share that into business. And so this week, it's all about margin. Is it shrinking or are you growing it? And how are you growing that? So with that, I will leave you to it this week. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome week and I will see you again soon.